Veliki pozdrav i dobrodošli u Serija, ali oni vole Srbiju. Već neko vreme naša zemlja postala je primamljiva destinacija za mnogo sportiste. Veliki broj igrača i trenera pronašlo je svoju sreću u Srbiji, a mi ćemo kroz ove emisije da ih upoznamo van terena, ići ćemo od grada do grada da čujemo njihove priče, a pre svega saznat ćemo kako doživljavaju boravak u našoj zemlji i zbog čega oni vole Srbiju. Danas se nalazim u Zemunu, na sportskom terenu Teleoptik, gde je Partizan trenira, ali moj današnji sagovornik ne trenira s ekipom već sam, zato što je povrđen, pa ajde da čujemo njegovu priču, da vidimo što ima da vam kaže. Dok ostali igrači Partizana treniraju na terenu, Ricardo trenira sam zato što je povređen. Pa, ajde da vidimo da li je završio trening. Mislim da jeste. Ricardo? Ja, dobro. Hvala. 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 No, 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 just some kick I, I got in the last game, but uh, it will be good. Two days, maybe. So these days you have to recover? Two days only? That's not that bad. Because no, no, it's okay. Uh, we just, uh, uh, like I said, some inflammation I got on the, on the leg, but two days just to relax, to make some therapy, and I will be back. So how's your routine these days while you have to recover? No, I'm just coming here and... Uh, in the teleoptic to make some some therapy twice a day, so I need to work a little bit in the gym and that's it. You're gonna be done soon? Yeah, yeah, for the, for the next week I will start normally with the, with the team. No, but for today. You're gonna be done soon because I have a suggestion. Huh. If you're gonna be done soon, I will wait in for your side and we can go in downtown to have lunch, okay? Yeah, of course, of okay, course. Deal? I will finish very soon and then we can... Deal. You know. See you later. Okay, so, see you. See you. Where are you? I'm here in the city already. Okay, I saw you. Hello. <laughs> I how was waiting you? for you. As yeah. you see, I put a national costume, Great. and this is the way how we receive guests. So really? welcome. Thank you. How how I do it? How I can do it? Do you know it? what you have to do? No. This is part of the Serbian tradition. You have to take a little piece of bread, put in the salt, and eat it. Yeah. Okay. Can I? Yeah. You sure? Yes. You can do it. So this is how like we this, receive. Huh? Sure. Yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And now we can have some lunch and yeah, try something. Of course. Okay? Of course. <laughs> Good Did you get used to my costume now? Because you were look at me very weird after. No, I was just, you know, looking because it's different of course than what we used to, to see. But it's it's okay. It's, it's nice. You like yeah, it. You like yeah, it. Good. Ricardo, do you know where are we right now? Do you know this part of the city? Mm, no, to be honest, like uh, inside, like this, I don't know. I used to pass here around, but okay. uh, I never came inside like like we are doing now. This is actually a very uh, beautiful part of the city. It's a Bohemian part of Belgrade, and it's very typical, as you see, for restaurants and we will try something today. But first, do you want to drink something? We can order something to drink? Yes, I will, I will have some water juice and some water. Water and juice, yes. we can call it. Okay, don't worry, because in a couple of minutes, we will bring some food. I already 
did that yes. because I didn't want you to wait and I want you to try some okay. Serbian food. Mm. You told me that you didn't try a lot of Serbian dishes no, before. Not. But no, why? It's yeah. so no, good, know. it's so amazing. Why you didn't? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I didn't had some, not say opportunity because of course I'm here for a long time, but uh, you know, the guys um, who I used to to go out to eat, it's uh, Natko or Patrick or uh, I've been with Quincy. So we always try to eat, you know, the normal, normal food. But I, I know I need to, I need to try it. But you try something, right? Oh, voilà. I, yes. I, voilà. So as I said before, don't worry because in a couple of minutes, okay, let's switch that yes. because this is yours, this is mine. But you told me that you tried actually something. Yes, I, I tried because uh, they're in uh -huh. uh, I went a few times they bring some, some traditional food. So I tried about the name. It's a little bit hard to say. Okay, try it. I will help you. Uh, sar sar sarma. 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 Yes, this I tried. Uh, and another one I really don't know the name. It's uh, like bean and, uh, and corn, I think. Think. And corn? No, bean. Basur? I don't it's know. Like it's like a soup. Yeah, it's basur. Yes, yes. Okay, I got it. You, you like it? Yeah, it's okay. okay. And I tell you, the most famous food from our country is a little bit similar like that. We call it cachupa. Cachupa? Cachupa. And yes. how is cachupa? I didn't hear about cachupa. You have on that corn, you have two, three types of bean. And you have meat, you have uh, vegetables, and it's all on the same, uh, together. They cook it together, and it's a little bit similar. Like, it's like fajão. It's fajão. It's fajão. 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 Okay. Yeah. I said fajão because I know that in your country you uh, speak Portuguese, but you speak another language. So can you introduce me a little bit to your culture, to your language? We have the Portuguese, our official language is Portuguese. Uh, but we have our uh, like domestic language is Criollo. Mm -hmm. It's the one we, of course, we speak uh, between us. But Portuguese, for example, where we are in the when we are in the school, is, uh, we speak only Portuguese. Okay. So, uh, which is it different? Is similar or is like completely you have, different? You have some words. Uh, it's a little bit similar. Okay. But uh, the accent is it's different, and it's a little bit mix of of. Uh, two, if I'm not wrong, two or three language. So it's mixed and yes, they got the, the Criollo. It's Criollo. Can you tell me something in your language so I can... Criollo? Yes. Hoje não tenho para conhecer cidade. Okay, I was kidding though. I, yeah, I, I don't understand. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a little bit similar to Spanish and Portuguese, mm, but it's like the I said, accent. Some, some words mm -hmm. are uh, different, but uh, accent, maybe if I say it word by word, you will catch some things. But if I speak it like normal, it's hard. And when we talk about the language, actually you speak English very good. But what about Serbian? Did you manage to learn a little bit of Serbian? Yes, I, I already know some, uh, some, some words, you know, the, the simple things. But uh, it needs to be better because it's my third season here, you know. Okay. Yes, and, uh, but it's also a little bit let me say hard because normally people here speak, um, everybody speak English, you know. And all the time I try to communicate with somebody, we are talking on English. You said you can say some words. Which words? I want to hear that. I really need to hear the, which words I you can know say. I know how to say it. For example, good morning, how are you? Everything is okay? These kind of things. Okay, no, sorry. I'm still uh, listening English. I'm not listening in Serbian. Like, uh, <laughs> Hello, dobro jutro, kako si, this kind of thing. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. a good thing. You have uh, even two children. The yes. older is speaking Serbian because he's no. going to the kindergarten, no? The small one. Oh, the, the small one. The youngest, yeah. He's okay. just two years and he's on the kindergarten okay. where they, they speak Serbian with him and he already know many things and he, he understand many, many things. Your younger son? My and how old son. is he? Two. Two years two. old and he's speaking Serbian? Yes. He can teach you, he can teach you something. Yes, <laughs> yes, I, I need to try to learn with him. 
to, I'm really glad we can, we are having this conversation here because it's a sunny day and it uh, re remembers a little bit to your country to yes. Capo Verde. Capo. Tell me if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Is Capo Verde in, or Capo Verde? In the Portuguese we say Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde. But in English we say Cape Verde. Ca Cape Verde. Cape okay, Verde. tell me something about Cape Verde. It's a small country. Uh, on the sea, on the on the sea, it's not inside of the the Africa continent, but of course we are we we pertain to Africa. Mix of uh, and the culture of the, our country is the mix of of many many countries, because uh, of course we have the Portuguese, like I said, it's our official language and these things. But we have many people who are from Cabo Verde. They live they live um, out. Out of, the, Outside the country. out of the country, okay. and we have more Cape Verdean living out of the country than in Cabo Verde. That's interesting. That's yes, interesting. yes. And uh, it's uh, ten islands. We are uh, ten islands. Then nine, it's uh, habited. One, nobody's there. No, no, it's, it's too small. It's some tourist islands. You know, with uh, with a good with a good weather uh, during the during the year. Uh, very lovely people. Wait, because I need to yes. stop you because <laughs> I see the food is coming. Yeah. Uh, wait a second because I need to show you this, Ricardo. So, do you know what is this? No. It's Aivar. How is that? Aivar. Aivar. It's like a pepper sauce. It's very good. This one, do you know what it is? Okay. This is like kaimak. Kaimak. Kaimak is made like from butter and from milk. It's very yeah. good. You have a little bit of hams here. And this, I need to teach you something, please. Because everyone Just is going to say, sorry. okay, so we have another, another plate, another dish. You're going to like this. You try this, I thought. Do you know what is this? this you meat, tried. This meat I tried. Yeah, you yes, tried. Do you I know tried. how it's called? I don't know. Cheva. Cheva. No, Cheva. How you say? It? Sorry. Chevapi. 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 It's not Cheva. You, t you told me you already eat that. No, no, not this one. Not I this one? No, no, no. So maybe I, I misunderstand. The... Did you eat the round one? I, uh, it's round. I wanted to tell you something you have. It's like a roll. You have like some uh, rice inside, maybe something like that. This is Cheva, but this is from meat. This is only meat. No. It's not this Rice? One I to okay, we're gonna do it that later. But this is a yeah. very important lesson of mm. Serbian, Serbian culture. This one is not burek. Don't tr don't trust people that's telling this word. This is pita. Burek is only with meat, everything else mm. is pita in pita. Serbia. Pita. pita. You should try that. Yeah. You can try it yeah. and tell me what do you think about it. So do you remember how it's called? I told you before. Pita. Pita. <laughs> Because work is only with would... meat, so it's very it's very good. I will take something. I will try it. this ham. And uh, we were talking about your country. Yes. We were talking about Capo Verde, yes. and uh, because I really I'm really interested how is life there yeah. and how it looks like your culture. So you tell me that a lot of people of Capo Verde is uh, living outside the country. Yes, outside of and, the country. Okay, and. Uh, Tourism is the main uh, yes. resource. Yes, is the main uh, yes. Because of course, also the some the beach we, beach we have, the the hotel we have a good hotels there. The weather, I think, is the the thing who call the tourist, of course, to visit. Yeah, it's sunny. Most yes, all the sunny year. all yes. the year, and especially in the in the December January, it's winter. We used to have many tourists there, uh, but it's uh, it's uh, for me, of course. I mean, if I will talk about about my country, I will always speak uh, speak good. But, you will uh, speak good, yeah. And yeah. Uh, food, I think food, I think is completely different. At least eat that. You need yeah. to try it, and you need to try this red mm. thing. I think is uh, one of the things that make us very popular. Uh, very Which one? This one. It's the Ivan. The Ivan. It's very good. And it's not yeah. spicy because you told and me. Now you, you eat like it, you eat it with the bread or just like that? With the bread, but you can try do you want some bread? No no no. I'm just asking how you how you guys eat. You can the... eat it actually with the bread. Yeah. yeah, that was a good question, but you can use this one hmm. to eat. So I can it. You can use, use this, this one. And it's very so good. I'll try it. And I heard that in uh, uh Cap Verde it's very popular the carnival. 
Kind it's of, something yes. we that we, it's something that we don't have here in Serbia. Yes. Did you attend it when you were like a child when you were living in Cap Verde? Not, not that all because um, the most famous is in São Vicente. It's another island. It's not my island. Mm-hmm. Uh, there they they really enjoy the the carnival. They do it like um, like people do it in Brazil. People really wait for this um, this month to do it. Um, and it's, it's very popular there, but like I said, not in all of the, the islands. So I never been been there in San Vicente on the on the carnival, but I see my father is from there, okay. and he tell me about about the carnival and, and it's something uh, something amazing, like how he said. And what's happening? People are dancing, are singing, yes, right? Everything. Yeah, people go out in the streets. They are dancing. They are. Uh, I think this is like one week or ten days, and every day they are doing this. You know, you have many groups. They they show. Then uh, you have, for example, the street that people are sitting, mm-hmm. and um, and some groups they are passing the middle, of course, showing the dancing, the the dress they put, all the all these things. Exactly, exactly the same like uh, like in Brazil, but of course not that big because. We are a small country, but uh, but it's very famous also. Okay, I have a suggestion. Hmm. You can try Ivar again, but if you want to take a risk, I can choose something for you. So you can try everything and yes. see what you like more. Yeah, I will. Okay, I will. okay so, try that, and after, I will choose something. Yeah. Okay, I can put it in your plate, if you're okay hmm. with that. Please. So you need to tell me what do you like more, because hmm. these dishes are pretty different from Capo Verde dishes. So I understand it it's is. a good, but it's good, you like it? Yeah, it's good. Ivar, it's okay? Do you yeah, like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Ivar like and a, pita, huh? Pita. Pita. Which I one do you like more for now? This is, is this tasting is so good. good, yes. Okay, try this. Very, very. Try this one mm. and you need to... You need to of try chivas. So you don't need yeah. to try everything, the full one, just a little bite. Yeah. But I really want you to tell me your impression. Okay. So yeah. I'm go with this one. This yeah. one, like I told you, I already, I already tried. With the guys, with the teammates. Yeah, and teammate, right? the teammate, yeah, it's very nice. Sometimes in the birthday, um, guys are bringing some food in Teleoptic to celebrate, and many times they bring this uh, this type of uh, of meat. So one more time, how will you say the name? Chevapi. 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 Yeah. You will remember will, that until the end of the day. <laughs> I will try to not forget. I want you now to try a little mm. bit of everything. The prosciutto, the pita, the chevapi and the ivor. Yeah. And after, you need to tell me what you like more. Okay? Okay. I think but this try everything. one is the one missing to yep. try. You haven't tried this before because I know that you already did. You did? Yeah. Because when the guys bringing the the food, it's a bit mix of, of of a lot of a lot of food. So this one also, I used to try. So oh. which one would you like you like more? Can you ah, choose? To be this? honest, it's everything good, everything good. But <laughs> if I could choose one, I'm going with with this. And what's the name I of that? I just forgot. It's no. with ah. It's. Ivar. Ivar, good, Iver. good job, yes, good yes. job, you made it. Hard, but <laughs> I you hope you don't it. forget it anymore. <laughs> no, but it's, it's very nice, everything was good. Dobro, pošto sam ja u narodnoj nošnji, mogu da progovorim malo i na srpskom, čuli ste što Ricardo najviše voli da jede. Mi ćemo sada da završimo sa ručkom, pa se vidimo posle na drugoj lokaciji. After this good lunch, we came here to Belgrade Waterfront to have a little walk. So first of all, tell me if you like the lunch. I need to know that. Yes, it was <laughs> everything perfect. Some of the foods, like I told you before, I, I had tried before, but some of them also was the first time, so it was, was everything great. And what do you eat, guys, at home? Did you like cook your yeah. traditional food? Can you yeah. find the things, your food here? Yeah, yeah. Portugal? We, we, we find everything here and we used to, to cook at home. Sometimes also we go out to, to, to have a lunch, uh, 
out, but most of the time we cook at home. Yeah, I said before your wife is Portuguese. Yes. You met her when you lived in Portugal. And, but after we will talk about that, let's yeah. talk now about your childhood. You were born in Praia, right? It's Praia. Me? Yeah, it's Praia. No, 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 no. Uh, so Google, Google, yeah, Google is Google, lying. I know, I Google know. is lying. They put Praia, but I'm not, I'm not from there. And tell me Praia the is capital. Uh, I'm from Sal. Okay. Sal is my, my island and Santa Maria is my city. Nice, so Santa Maria is your city? Yes. And Santa. how was growing up there? I had a, a very nice um, time there when I was when I was young. We had a good life. I can say that uh, never miss nothing with uh, with my my parents. I was in the school doing normal, of course. Then I started play football uh, also there. My first memories of, of football was with my brother, my oldest brother. I remember to to play with him and to go with him when he was going to play some games to go with him, to always take care of the, his things. And this is the, the memories I, I have from, from there. Do you have only one brother or? No, I have six. Six? Yes. It's, a bit, it's common that in Cabo Verde to have a big family? Yes, most of the people have, yes. Most, okay. most of the people have. For example, the, the father of uh, my grandfather, okay. um, he has 18 sons. 18. 18. Oh my yes. god. That's unusual. Yeah, it's unusual. Not, it's not, uh, like you said, it's not normal. But on that time uh, in, the, in Cabo Verde, it happened many, because I know many families who are bigger like, like this, you know. But yes, I have six brothers. So one is living in, the, in France, mm -hmm. my sister living in America, and all the rest is there in Cabo Verde. Okay, so a big part of the family is all around the world. Yes. And uh, you started playing football because of your brother. Mm -hmm. But when you have 17 years old, you moved to, to Portugal. Portugal. Yes. Because you had the opportunity to play professionally, right? Yes. I go to try. I go to, to, to play in some, in some, to make some trainings on some teams, to try if they like it, to, to try to find some club. But it's what, it was my, my big dream to become a professional football. So I didn't think twice, I just move and go to, to, to try my, my luck. Yeah, actually, in Portugal you didn't have the language barrier because mm. you speak Portuguese, yeah. but it's a pretty different environment from Cap Verde. So how was it first moving from Cap Verde to mm. Portugal? Did you have like a kind of a shock or not? It was just... Not, uh, and I will tell you why, because this, my brother, I said, I, I start to you know, to like football because of him. Okay. On that time, he was there. Ah, was he in Portugal? Was, yes, he was okay. making university there. So it, it helped me a lot to have him there because it was everything new for me to live without my parents, you know. Uh, and he helped me a lot on that time. He was going to, for the trainings with me when I was trying, he was going sit, wait two, three, four hours, you know. Uh, and he helped me a lot, so I think because of him it was a little bit easier. You came for the first time to Serbia in 2018? 18, yes. And uh, uh, the most important thing that I read of your interviews yeah. was that you left the team after the end of the season, and you came back a couple of years later, and you said, I really wanted to come back because of the city, because of the people, because of the atmosphere and the memories. Yeah. Can you tell us more about those memories, those people, those atmosphere? Mm -hmm. Why is Serbia is so unique to you? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a crazy story because, like I said before, before I came in Partizan in 2018, um, I didn't know that much about, about Serbia. I didn't know about the, the lives here, of course. And when I came, I started to like it, everything. The, my time I was spending on the, on the club, the, I, I immediately started to, to like to play for this team also, because everybody was giving me the support, you know. And when it's like this, you feel good, you feel comfortable even. Uh, it was everything new for me. But uh, I really like it, and like, like you said, I came back. This was one of the points who make me come back. The, the memories I had here in my first time here, it, I did a good, uh, a good year also with some, with some good games, some, some goals. 
uh, and we won the cup also on that time and was was great for me so after when I had uh, I get this opportunity I just came back and in 2018 when you came here you had guys this kind of tradition that you have to sing a song when you come to the new team yes what was your song yeah in that time I think uh, Despacito on that time the, the song was everybody was playing this this song uh, okay, now we're gonna sing Despacito. Okay. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm this was, was, was very. It's a funny moment, of course. It's always a funny moment. But believe me, when you are in that situation, I, I remember I was so nervous. I, I sing like 10 like seconds, maybe. <laughs> 10 seconds, and I say, Yeah, thank you guys. And I just move on. Yeah. Why you didn't like it? The way we don't get used to this, to sing in, the, in front of the people. Okay, normally you sing when you are in your car, you are alone or something like that, you know? You sing with the fans, right? Yeah, but it's different. It's different because there you are singing, you, only you, and everybody is watching you to wait okay, what you're going to do, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's totally different. That's different. But so, it was funny moment. Tell me about the fans. You are one of the favorite football players of Partizan fans. Do you know some song, partisan song, or you don't know it? I know some song, but to sing it's a little bit hard. You do have to sing uh, it. Do yes. you just know some song? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, of course. I'm listening to them every, every time I play in the... Especially in our stadium, because we have this song when we are coming inside on the, on the field. They always play this song. Yeah, but I, I, I know many, many songs. Do you feel like uh, in Serbia fans are a little bit different from other countries? Or can you compare that? On the countries where I play, exactly. yes, I can say yes, completely. Because here, the good thing, um, for example, in Portugal, people are more, more cold, let me say like that. Okay. Like maybe okay. they like you, but they don't show it uh, that much. And here, the good thing, people show what they feel. Extroverted, they're they yes, extroverted. Yes. Okay. And as like for me as a football player, it's very nice to to have this feeling from the people or when I'm in the stadium or when I'm walk on the on the street. Doesn't matter. They show me this this love they have for me, and for me it's it's very good to feel this. Mm -hmm. yeah. I heard an information that yeah. you have a Serbian passport, yeah. so there's a change to see Ricardo in Serbian national team. No, I cannot because I already <laughs> play for uh, for my national team for Camo Verde. But it's a, it's a big pleasure to have this this passport. Like I said, this country is is special for me. My family, we live some uh, some good period here. The both of my 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 child, they they start to speak. We was here even the first one when we was here the first time. Uh, they start to go in the school. They like to be here. So we are we are uh, happy on this on this country on this city, and to be to have a passport of this country for me is a, it's a big pleasure. You know? So maybe one day would do you see yourself living in Serbia with your family? Why not? Uh, I had we had this conversation before, uh, you know, just to to see if if in the case it come we need to to live here, but it will be perfectly good for us because like I said we are we are totally adapt on the on the city if it happen it will be it will be okay it will be good Ricardo what's the thing that you like more of your life here in Serbia well here I like everything you know I like to be here I like my routine here my family is, uh, is completely adapt on on the on the city uh, like I can tell you that uh, I, lo I love Serbia, you know, uh, I'm feeling good, good here. Ricardo, in uh, this program, the presenter is not wrapping up the program. You will have to do that. So now you have the chance to say something to your audience, to your yeah. fans. And here we go. Yeah. Hello, guys. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this conversation, this, uh, this time we spend here together. Just want to thank all of you for the big support you always show to me uh, since I'm here and uh, see you. <laughs>